Bladesmiths, welcome to the strength test. The hockey mask chop. To test the strength and durability of your knives as well as the overall construction, I'll be bashing them into these hockey masks. Remember, this test is all about what the masks do to your knives and not what your knives do to the masks. Tim, you're up first. You ready? Yes, I am. All right. I'm feeling pretty good about my blade. I'm just concerned that the edge is a little too thin for the chopping test. Oh, man. Well, Tim, the edge you put on here is really fine. And unfortunately, what happened was it's taken up a bunch of roll right in the area where I was hitting. It's pretty significant. I can get my fingernail underneath on both sides. That being said, the rest of the blade held up. It's as straight as it was. It's all in one piece. Well done. Thank you. Chase, you're up. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Uh, I'm very nervous. Seeing what it's done to Tim's blade already, I don't know what's going to happen to mine. Hell yeah. Well, Chase, your edge held up perfectly. There's no marks, no dings, nothing on that edge. The handle, I know you put in this hook for retention, but it's really narrow here. It puts my pinky in a weird spot when I'm holding it. Other than that, the plate held up beautifully. It's dead straight. Well done. Thank you. Well, Brandon, you're up. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I made my blade to kill zombies. I can't help but wonder if the cracks are going to show back up, but I'm super excited. Right on. That's awesome. Brennan. The mask took a little nibble out of the corner of your blade here. But I would have liked to have seen a little more refinement on this handle. It could have been more comfortable. But all in all, you're an all in one piece. Well done. Thank you. Bladesmiths, it's time to find out if your weapons still have an edge. This is the sharpness test, the leather mask slice. Now, unlike the strength test, this is all about what the edge of your blade does to these leather masks. Heads up. Tim, you're up first. You ready? I am. Let's do this. All right, Tim, this tip will penetrate deep and easily into this leather mask. This slasher blade will cut. Thank you. All right, Chase, your turn. You ready for this? Let's do it. All right, Chase, let's talk about your slasher blade right here. I love the balance of this blade. It's easy to stab and slash with it. And most importantly, it will cut. Thank you. All right, Brandon, you're up next. You ready? Hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> right on. That is awesome. <laughs> That's quite the scream. <laughs> Brandon, this is an intimidator. Your edge is sharp enough to open up a big gasp. Overall, sir, your slasher blade, it will cut. Thank you. All right, bladesmiths, the judges have made a final decision. It's time for one of you guys to leave the forge. The bladesmith leaving the forge is Tim, your blade didn't make the cut. Tim, in the strength test, your blade developed a rolled edge. And that really affected you in the sharpness test. That's why we got to let you go. I understand. Tim, please surrender your blade. I'm not upset with the judge's decision because I did take more damage. I was hoping to make it to the finals like my brother did. 
So he gets the bragging rights.